So today I'm excited to be checking out the brand new Aqua De Gio Profondo lights. And I'll tell you guys, as soon as I caught wind of this one, saw it on Fragrantica, had a look at the note breakdown, I was pumped. I've been waiting to get this one in and finally it became available on Armani's official website. So I decided to pick one up. So of course Armani's wasting no time here and this time we have a flanker of a flanker. So not only is it an Aqua De Gio flanker, it's also a flanker of Aqua De Gio Profondo which just came out last year. This one did really well, I think. I think it's a fantastic release. It's right up there with Profumo for me in terms of what I like. So I'm excited to check this one out with you guys today and we can kind of go through this together and see what it's all about for the first time. Quickly before we do start, let me know down in the comments, are you excited to try Profondo lights? Do you think it's gonna be good? Do you think it's not gonna be so good? Do you like the original Profondo? What are your thoughts about this and just the line in general? All right, let's not waste any more time. I'm gonna go ahead and tear into this one. We'll give it a spray on skin. And we'll see what it's all about. I do wanna take a close up look at the box real quick. I like the uh, weird little shimmer coloration going on. It's kind of like it's a, a light effect. I like the lights on the box here. So here's the bottle. It's only available in 75 ml and I believe 40 ml currently. That's the two sizes that I saw on Armani's website. Not sure if it's gonna stay like that forever. I would like to possibly see a larger size bottle, you know, 100, 125 ml, whatever, but uh, this'll do for now. Bottle does look pretty nice. We got a bit of a gradient going on here, and the bottle's quite a bit different from Profondo. For a comparison, here's Profondo. It's basically frosted glass all the way through. This one is a gradient. Interesting, on the bottom, you have a texture here. It's probably not gonna show up very well on camera, but I noticed it immediately. It's like a, you know, rough texture. Can you hear that? It's got a texture to it. I'm not sure if that's some sort of non-slip coating on the bottom. I'm not sure if it's, you know, for aesthetic purposes. I'm not really sure, but you know, that's interesting. Because of that coating on the bottom, they moved your sticker, which gives you your fragrance information from the bottom to the back of the bottle. Uh, then you'll have your batch code and then your sticker saying that it is an eau de parfum and you know, not to drink the stuff because it is flammable and toxic. You know, that information, it's moved back here now. So in case you were missing that, in case you needed to be told that you can't drink this and you can't light it on fire, it's right back here, calm down. Okay, enough blabbering on. Let's go ahead and get this one on skin and we'll see what it's all about. Great atomizer as per usual. Again, still no magnetic cap, sucks, but it is what it is. So this opens up fresh, bright, woody, aromatic, and immediately it does remind me a bit of the original Profondo. Profondo has that mineral water smell and you do get a lot of orange from Profondo. And this one opens up in a similar vein. I'm gonna go ahead and read through the note breakdown here because we do have quite a bit to go over. Up top we have cardamom, green mandarin, C notes. In the mid we have cypress, rosemary, balsam fir, lavender, and mastic. And in the base, we have vetiver, patchouli, and cedar. So I thought the note breakdown on this one seemed interesting initially because you get that cypress, you get that rosemary, you get that fir. So immediately I just kind of had a, a picture in my mind of what this was gonna be like. And that simply was a bit more of an herbal, aromatic, woody, and green interpretation on the original Profondo. And smelling it here, I am picking up on that. So like I mentioned, you do get that orange up top, nice orange top note. I did find that a little bit of the cardamom came through ever so slightly there up top. Just a tiny bit of spice, but not very much. And it's not really oriental. It's not really sweet. Just a little bit of a spicy kick. It's almost like they're using the cardamom in replacement of, you know, like a bergamot or a grapefruit, something to give it like a tart opening. Instead of using a citrus like that, they're sticking with the orange and then just bringing in another type of a spicy opening. You can pick up on the aquatic notes right away. Again, it's a similar aquatic type of feel to Profondo with that mineral, seawater, photorealistic type of smell. For me, I am picking up on these aromatic notes such as the cypress and the balsam fir. Gives it a bit more of a masculine, woody, aromatic feel rather than Profondo just being straight up bright and light and minerally and kind of, uh, you know, aldehydic in a way. This one goes in a bit of a, not necessarily darker direction, but in a bit more of a heavy direction in terms of this fragrance has a bit more substance. So let's take a quick look at my favorite thing, which is the Fragrantica comparisons. So right now, the top voted scent is Polo Blue Eau de Parfum. Do I think this smells like Polo Blue Eau de Parfum? Not really. I don't think so. You know, it, it does have kind of a, 
a blue smell, and I don't mean blue like ambroxan, but I mean blue like a blue, fresh, clean, aquatic mint smell. It's got that type of thing going on. That's not necessarily going to be a surprise, but it does have that. But I don't really think it smells like Polo Blue. The original Profondo up next, I can agree with that. Immediately when you spray it on, you do get reminded of the original Profondo. Just less bright and also less creamy from the orange in the opening. And this one here, just more focused on aromatic and woody notes with a bit more of a spiciness. And last up, we have Polo Blue Gold Blend. Haven't smelled that one, so I can't really provide any input there. Um, I'm assuming probably not though. As it's been having some time to dry down, I'm getting a little bit of the vetiver in the base and quite a bit of like a muskiness in here. Uh, this is gonna be aroma chemical heavy, just like Profondo. That's something that you can just kind of tell. It's something that isn't necessarily a surprise and is definitely not a bad thing. That's just kind of how fragrances are these days, but I can tell you that the aroma chemicals in here are high quality. It doesn't smell synthetic or unnatural. So the big question is, do I like this better than this? Profondo the original and the answer is it's too soon to tell right off the bat as it sits right now I wouldn't say that I like Profondo lights better than Profondo. I just wouldn't you know I think there are definitely going to be some uses for Profondo lights and I think there are definitely going to be some better uses for Profondo. It's going to be one of those things where it's going to depend on your mood and it's also going to depend on the situation and of course your taste as well. For me, Profondo shines as a hot summer day scent, something you would wear out when it's very warm outside and it's good for when you want something a bit playful. Profondo, a bit more aromatic, a bit more woody, a bit more grown up and a bit more maybe traditionally masculine in a way to where this would be good for maybe uh, someone who wants to go to work and just have something a bit more grown up, a bit more upscale, or maybe perhaps something going into the evening time when it's less hot outside and you want something with a little bit more depth and complexity. Because really there's nothing too overly complex about Profondo, but Profondo Lights has a bit more going on, especially through the mid and base. Obviously, it's going to be too soon to tell on performance because I just got this one in. It is no de parfum, so who knows? Maybe it'll have a, a fighting chance here. Uh, and the original Profondo does perform good on me as well, so maybe this one will also do good. We'll have to see. I could tell this type of DNA is going to be a really good compliment getter. It's going to be very mass pleasing. Most everyone who puts their nose on this are going to at least think it smells pleasant. I really like how this smells so far. I wouldn't say that it blows me away. I wouldn't say that I love it more than Profondo because Profondo is really, really good. I like how this one is bright and uplifting. This one is not so bright and uplifting, so it's a change. It's something different, and I do think there will be some good uses for this one, but who knows if I'm gonna be gravitating towards this one when I want something less bright when there's a lot of other things out there. So I'll just have to wear it more, I'll test it more, and I'll see if it starts to grow on me even more. Right off the bat though, I am excited to have tried this one and you know share my thoughts with you guys. Let me know down below if you're excited to try this one and if you have tried it, what do you think? And I will also link to Aqua Dijo Profondo, Profumo, and some of the other flankers down below to discounters if you're interested in those. Okay, that's gonna do it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.